what is up everybody welcome back to another video here uh or forecast by hurricane watch team here and this is one of the members of the team my name is adrian and my main channel if you guys haven't already known adrian's weather forecast here so if you guys want to go ahead and find my main channel be sure to look up in the description it should be there the link of my channel but this is going to be a video here on the impacts and what tropics from Luis is doing right now in south uh in the southern african region there in mozambique botswana and as well zimbabwe and even as far south as southern africa and south africa the actual country but if you guys wanted to get some great details on exactly what Luis is going to be doing flooding wise uh, how strong the winds will be who can get impacted the worst by this as the storm continues to move more inland be sure to watch this short video here uh by the member adrian here if you guys subscribe hit the postification icon and as well like the video here if you guys want to see more of those from this channel here again we will be live streaming at 8 p.m uh 8 p.m eastern and 7 p.m central so be sure to check that out as well and if you have any questions or recommendations for videos be sure to put them in the comments below and we will check a look here and as well if you will have any concerns be sure to email us at hurricane watch team at gmail.com but let's go ahead and take a look at the forecast here so here's a look now exactly where the actual low pressure, the main low pressure of Elusia is right now. So it's right there at the border of as well the uh, Mozambique region and the Zimbabwe region there. And it's expected to move more, uh, westward into areas like um, Zimbabwe, uh, into areas like uh, Zimbabwe. So that's kind of, or sorry, uh, like Botswana. Uh, so that's kind of where we're seeing right now this low pressure. So it made landfall right here in the coast of Mozambique as a 85 mile an hour category one, which in the United States isn't too shabby. I mean, it's still very damaging. But in Mozambique, which is the second poorest country in the whole country, in the whole world, it's going to bring a lot worse impacts here. We saw up to 13 foot waves earlier when it made landfall yesterday and it brought up some extreme storm surge here. The only thing is we don't have any actual news stations as of what I know or any service, weather service in, the, in this region so we can actually get actual reports. We just have to rely on the models here. So the low pressure is right there on the border of uh, these two countries and it's expected to move more eastward here but that's where that low pressure is right now and it will move more inland as we go throughout the day and that will help it help a lot for the weekend here so here we have there it is mozambique is right here and there you see that's where we have zimbabwe and then botswana down there uh, where it's expected to go in very soon here but let's start to zoom in here right now what we're seeing right now so here's um, uh obviously here is uh mozambique and there's there you got Zimbabwe, which is the where that low pressure is heading next. So right now we actually are, are seeing up to 40 uh, to even 50 mile an hour uh, winds right now. But let's go ahead and check exactly near the border there. Near we have uh, Musina, as we uh, Nashiro. I'm trying to pronounce these my best the best I can, but as you see we have 43 knots here. So that's obviously where we're going to start seeing those very dangerous winds uh, across this region here. So it, it doesn't seem like a lot, but this could bring in 43 knots is around around 49 50 mile an hour uh gust basically and with the saturated soils we're seeing here this can do a lot of damage here so it's it seems like very little since we're kind of used to major hurricanes here and they are on the atlantic but in, in these poor countries and very rural areas this could cause a lot of damage with the saturated soil because we've seen a very slow moving uh, at least it's been very slow moving uh since it's made landfall so it's going to bring in even more and more rain so these winds it, it may be a little for general but with the saturated soil it can be a, a, a do a lot of damage 48 knots here though so that's getting near 55 mile an hour wind gusts so still very gusts in these regions here moving into the southern region here and may even reach possibly make it to 50 monitor uh, gusts here not wide see 48 right there so we may get very close to 60 monitor wind gusts here as we see right now but as we get later on later into tonight uh, obviously this is it obviously is nighttime for this region here but at the end 6 a.m things will uh, change lightly as the storm moves eastward there there you see 
These winds now moving more into Botswana and as well moving out here into South Africa. They're right there in the border of these two countries, of Botswana and South Africa. Let me zoom in a lot. We're going to start seeing some gusty winds now. Really seeing the same 41 knots there in against South Africa right on the border. 43 knots by 6 a.m. to, to uh, today, uh, this morning, technically, for Africa. Uh, and then by obviously by later on by 3 a.m. things will clear off a lot. The winds will get pretty strong though for uh, Botswana. Could get some gusts up to maybe 32 mile hour gusts uh, here, 32 knots. So this is maybe translated to around 38 mile, mile an hour. And as we get later on to more to the east, get up to 36 knots. So this will continue to be very gusty uh, all the way up to the next really around 12 to 24 hours is when the gusts will really still be quite dangerous but once it moves more eastward it will somewhat die off and get into more populated regions here where the infrastructure obviously is a lot better and they've seen a lot less rain here so once it moves out of Botswana that's when things should get a lot better and really impact should diminish quite a bit but there it is right there right on the border there of uh, Mozambique and um as well as the Zimbabwe, it's going to be rapidly move into areas like the South African border there, and as well moving into areas like Botswana. So that's kind of what we're seeing right now. As of course, as it moves out of Botswana, it will obviously start to clear off there. But again, it's going to be a uh, it's going to start speeding up a little bit as it does weaken here, but nothing really major once it moves out. But we're seeing right now. So here's that low pressure right there, uh, moving into of course Zimbabwe. And it's going to continue to move rapidly to the to a little bit more to the south into now northern South Africa there, uh, near the border of uh, Mozambique, and then it's going to continue uh, to move in now into areas and now moving into Botswana as a thousand four millibars, and there you see this big very large outer bands here. So these outer bands will bring in the main flooding here, since you can be seeing those big potential thunderstorms here, tornadoes. I doubt it, but since it's going to be a more slow-moving system there, you're going to be seeing a lot of these areas getting the same rain showers for hours and hours and hours, and then obviously going to move out, and it's going to obviously die off and become less significant. So here's now a look at the, uh, the precipitated water uh, for South Africa region, and there you see we're seeing right there where uh, we have the Mozambique and the um, uh, Zimbabwe border. That's where we have a ton of of precipitated water here. So we have a lot of that moisture remaining from the Louise, which is keeping it uh, to stay as a cyclone, but it's going to rapidly obviously diminish here as it moves into Africa. There you see it really dies off quite significantly. There you see all that region there into Botswana and South Africa. That precipitated water will obviously diminish, but rainfall totals for the next few uh next two three days here it's going to continue to really increase it there you see southern mozambique may reach over possibly six to seven inches of rain they've already seen around a foot or more so obviously the saturated soils with those winds still being gusty for an additional 12 hours in the mozambique region we're expecting more trees to go down obviously whatever power we have should stay out for a while here since it is a second poorest country and then you get into the northeastern portion of south africa that's where you see most of our rain le left to come uh, additional nine to nine and a half inches of rain to maybe some scattered areas right here could actually get 10 inches of rain so gonna expect near a foot of rain for some areas uh, that have really yet to get the actual low pressure they kind of are getting this still the outer bands across mozambique and then as well moving to um Zimbabwe, the southern half will obviously get a ton of that rain there, up to around three to five inches of rain. Scattered areas right there near the border with uh, Botswana may actually get near eight inches of rain. And then as, as it gradually weakens, the storms do as well diminish. We'll get a lot less rain as we get near Botswana. And the far eastern side, of course, we'll get the heaviest rain near three to five, to five inches of rain. Then the western side of Botswana will get less than an inch. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed this short video here on what we're seeing right now in South Africa and what's to come here. And hope you guys enjoy the video and see you guys tonight.